development through high quality innovation was the motto of budget 2018 and 19 and how do you ensure high quality innovation the answer is through high quality research and how do you ensure high quality research by ensuring that the best research talented is attracted to pursue research in your country and how can you do that one of the ways could be to offer them lucrative handsome fellowship and that was exactly the purpose of launching pmrf in the year 2018 pmrf or prime minister's research fellowship scheme the highest fellowship scheme the highest fellowship which is awarded to phd scholars in india if you want to know all about pmrf who can avail it how can you avail it avail it what is the eligibility criteria and so on then keep watching this video with your one and only phd mentor dr ritika gava before we move ahead to understand how you can avail this highest fellowship in india let us understand certain important characteristics of this highest fellowship in india so first and foremost pmrf fellowship is only given to the students who are pursuing a phd in science and technology not only this you should be pursuing a phd in one of the pmrf granting institutions which include your all your iits iisc bangalore iisr certain high rank centrally funded central universities iits nits so there is a set of certain selected institutes only when you are pursuing your phd from these institute in science and technology can you avail this fellowship okay besides this there are two different channels through which you can apply for this fellowship number 1 is a direct entry channel and number 2 is a lateral entry channel now direct entry channel is for those people who are who know that they are eligible before they are applying for their phd and as soon as they start the phd program they can start availing this fellowship whereas the lateral entry channel is for those people who are already pursuing their phd since the last 6 months 1 year 2 years and so on so these are two separate channels and i would be explaining you in detail both these channels and also talking about the amount of fellowship which you get and how exactly do you apply through these channels however since both these channels are need great explanation and detailed explanation we would be focusing only on the lateral entry channel in this video and for the direct entry channel we would be making a separate video which would be released next week on our youtube channel so stay tuned with me for both these videos let us now start to discuss how you can apply to the pmrf fellowship through the lateral entry channel so let us begin with the eligibility criteria for this now the first eligibility criteria is that you should be pursuing a phd from one of the pmrf granting institute in the subject of science or technology second eligibility criteria is if you have started your phd program after your masters degree then you should be in your first year of your phd program in case you have started your phd journey after your four years of graduation then you should be within the first two years of your phd program how do you calculate this 12 months or 24 months of time then uh, the time will be calculated based on when you in uh, secure your phd admission and when are you applying for the lateral fellowship scheme so when you are applying for the lateral fellowship scheme then you should be if you are a pg student then you should be in your first year of phd if you are coming through a four after your four years of graduation then you should be within your first two years of your phd program besides this the most important requirement for a lateral entry channel is that you should have completed at least four i repeat you should have completed at least four full semester courses and 
and should have secured at least 8.5 CGPA in your PhD program. So at least six months you should have completed, you should have completed four courses in these six months in which you have secured at least 8.5 CGPA. If you do have this 8.5 CGPA and four of your courses, then you are eligible to apply for the PMRF fellowship through the lateral entry channel, which brings us to the second step. So your eligibility has been determined. Now you will move on to the second step where your PMRF granting institute and the coordinator of that PMRF fellowship, uh, which is one of the professors in the institute only, would be recommending you. They would be filling up a form on the PMRF portal and they would be sending all the requirement documents, which usually includes your research proposal, which is a very important document for your selection for this fellowship. Also, if you have published any papers or any papers which have uh, under review, if you have attended any conference and uh, you have presented papers in that conference and all your mark sheets and other important documents related to your PhD needs to be uploaded. The third step would be for the selection criteria. Now the selection is usually made by the PMRF committee based on your uh, recommender's uh, documents that they've uploaded and also very important your proposal. I've also already told you your past grades, your certificates, your uh, uh, papers which have been published. Based on all these things you would be selected for the PMRF fellowship through the lateral entry channel. In case you have already applied once for the through the lateral entry channel and you could not make it, don't worry. Through the lateral entry channel, you can apply twice for the PMRF fellowship provided you still fulfill the eligibility criteria. So this is how you can apply for this fellowship through the lateral entry channel. If you are eager to know what is the fellowship amount that is given to you, then here on the screen you can have a look in the first two years of your PhD program you would be given a total of 70,000 per month of fellowship through the scheme. In the third year you can avail a fellowship of 75,000 rupees and in the fourth and the fifth year you can avail a fellowship of 80,000 rupees per month. Besides this P through PMRF, you are also eligible to get a grant, annual grant of rupees 2 lakhs. So in 5 years, you can get a maximum up to 10 lakh rupees of grant. Isn't it amazing how much uh, you can gain through this fellowship? So this is all about the lateral entry channel of PMRF. In case you do have any other questions related to this fellowship, Please post them in the comment section below. Remember to watch the second part of this video which will be releasing next week in which we will tell you all about the direct entry channel of this fellowship. In case you do like the work which we are doing of empowering you with genuine in-depth and well-researched PhD knowledge, then please do empower us and subscribe to our channel, share our videos and do like and give us your comments, tell us how you like them, ask us questions about PhD, suggest us on what else can we make videos for you. Thank you so much for watching my video. This is Dr. Ritika Gaba, your one and only PhD mentor, advisor and trainer.